let's talk about how you use a context map. This is a very versatile tool, and you can see here I am drawing eight petals on a flower or eight spokes on a wheel. And the reason you draw eight is to get a broader sense of the big picture. When it's more than eight, it is too much information, it becomes overwhelming, our brains can't absorb it all. And if it's less than eight, say two or three, as humans we start to converge too quickly on a solution. So eight is not too few and not too many. It's a good balance to get started, and particularly to understand the complexity for the topic you're trying to, to do. And you can use the context map at three different points. At the start of understanding a new opportunity or problem area. In the middle, potentially to reset or to capture the group discussion and learning. And then at the end as a way to really take a snapshot for what you've covered and to, again, uh, make sure that you've covered all the points. So as we look at the topic of, say, learning, particularly the field of professional development and adult learning, your team will have a discussion to fill in the eight most salient points or issues that you're trying to understand. So as your group talks, someone may say, ah, well, you know, it's really about right time and place for uh, being convenient and finding the right moment. And someone says, oh, you said place. Well, that's really around the setting and where the learning takes place. Someone else may say, oh, well, cost is critical because you want to have value for your money and a return on investment. Someone says time, and that gets people to realize, well, what about taking classes that are online? Because that allows you to time shift and change schedules. And then you may make a note to say, oh, well, that you know, impacts place because now there's an on-site or on campus versus online. You can see how the discussion can move quite quickly. And as your team talks, you also may make notes, too. You could say, oh, well, if tools comes up, well, does that mean methods? Does that mean pen and paper, um, online? This is really, again, capturing the bigger picture and helping your group understand all of the different elements that fit together and help set the parameters for what you're trying to understand. And you can see here, as we fill in other different elements to say, oh, well, what about the content and what you're trying to do, maybe learning objectives? It's not about getting the exact right eight for your combination or having them at the same level or even perfect agreement. You're looking to build team understanding. And what do you do next with this understanding? You might realize, well, let's take a look and understand a particular area more. Or with online, you might do another context map to say, let's dig deeper into this particular subtopic because there's actually a lot of um, you know, heated discussion our group had or this is an area we need to understand a little bit better. And then you might say, well, you know what? We actually are missing some. Or deliberately, you can leave one of the eight empty and have that as an invitation for somebody outside your group to say, what would you add? What is missing? You know, taking a look, someone might say, where's the human? What about the learner? Let's put that in. And that's a great reminder. And so again, this is a tool that you can use to also invite collaboration and additional input at the start, middle, or end of your discovery work and to help you really build more context for the problem you're trying to understand.